Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me. I have made a really fun little simple stationery uh, little set. It's a great little uh, idea for uh, your Happy Mail and you can add a letter in here or you can just uh, use these to add some of your ephemera pieces or die cuts. Just a cute little project for you. And I've quartered a double a pocket envelope and it comes with a mini pocket insert as well. And you can choose which style of mini pocket insert that you would like to coordinate with this double pocket envelope. And let me show you what I made. Um, so this is the double envelope, uh, but I better, I'll just show you which papers I use before I show you the project. And it's um, the 12 by 12 paper pad collection. Um, it's Gingham Garden by Crate Paper. It is just such a beautiful uh, paper pad collection. I just fell in love with the lovely soft uh, sage green colours that are in the um, papers and I did purchase this in Australia or in Sydney in at my local uh, craft and um, supply store called Spotlight and I just had to grab this uh, paper pad and I think it also comes in a six by eight paper pad it also has a coordinating die cut pack and some other embellishment pieces but I just decided to grab the 12 by 12 paper pad first because uh, I just wanted to play with the papers and so I use the one of the papers in the pattern it's this one here and it's just a beautiful print uh, so this is the envelope so it's a slim uh, long envelope but you could also use this to add some um, like a gift card or anything you like and then with the envelope you can choose any of these three pocket inserts that you could um, add to the envelope so you can create a little set so you can have this one and I'll open this up so I can show you what the pocket is uh, this one or this one and another great thing with this project um, to make the envelope with the pocket insert you need one a six by twelve inch paper pad and with that uh, sorry six by twelve inch paper and you can make two sets with the one 12 by 12 paper. So you're able to make two of these envelopes and then your choice of any of these pockets to go with the uh, envelope. So you can make a set of two with one piece of 12 by 12 paper. So that is a great idea. Um, so this is one of them, but I used uh, just some crochet string for the closure. But you can use whatever closure you'd like to close your envelope and there is um, I made a little tab with the little extra piece that you cut out from one of the pockets and then it opens up this way and then you have your pocket here and it's nice got a nice opening and then at the back is another pocket so you could add um, some extra note cards or uh, journaling cards or whatever you would like to add to the back here and this also has a nice large opening here at the back too so you can add a little bit more of a bulkier um, papers in here if you wanted to add like a stack of papers and it's just just a fun little project and this is one of the pockets which i have done a, a few times in on in my videos i love making these pockets because it's just easy and um it's just so simple to put together and you can also add some vellum to make it uh, as a closure here i don't have I've got, some here. I've got a large piece of vellum. I'll just cut this just so you could see. I might even use this in the project later. You can close this up and add a vellum if you don't want the opening of your pocket and just glue that to the back. So you have yourself a nice vellum style pocket. And these little butterflies were in the uh, paper pad and I just fussy cut them out and laid them to the front. So you can make this envelope to go with, uh, sorry, this pocket to go with your envelope. And this one here is a simple uh, double pocket ephemera holder. And I've just placed some of the cutter parts in here. So you can have a choice of either making this double pocket insert or this one. Or you can make one of these ones 
and this one has an extra little pocket in the front so you can add some cute little tags or your altar paper clips they can go in here and or some little stamps and then i've got another pocket here at the back i made a little envelope which i've also done a tutorial uh, for you to make these easy style envelopes and i thought that just fit it perfectly in there and then i just had some extra uh, papers laying um, around from part of the collection and i thought that was just a nice um, addition to that and one of the extra butterflies i fussy cut that out so there is your choice of these three and this one here you could also add a vellum piece to there too if you wanted to i'll cover the back and add a vellum piece just to give it um a nice texture paper to the back you can do that and this way you'll have an extra pocket um as well if you wanted to so you'll have a pocket at the back once you glue that to the back of the front of this part you can have a pocket there and then you can also have another pocket there so you'll be able to have three pockets or you could use the extra pieces of papers and you can glue that to the back if you have no vellum and glue that to the back of this piece so that will sort of get glued somewhere there or wherever you prefer to glue it and then you'll have a pocket there and then you'll have another pocket here and then you've got this pocket here so there's another option for you all right, so I'm going to show you how you can make the em double envelope and then I'll also give you the measurements on how to make any of these pockets to go with your envelope. But um, it'll be on one sheet, but if you choose to just want to make the envelopes, I'll also give you those measurements. So you want a 12 by 12 paper that has no pattern direction uh, to your paper. And I've got a single sided paper here, so you can just use a single sided 12 by 12 paper and you're going to cut that at 6 inches by 12 inches so you're pretty much just cutting it in half and we're going to grab your scoreboard and I'm going to have the print facing down I don't know why I like doing it this way because I can see the score lines and also for the tutorial it's easy for you to see the score lines so we're going to line it on the 12 inch side. So if you want to make two envelopes, your measurements will just be the same. You can make two of these. And what we're going to do, we are going to score at half an inch. Six and a quarter inches. And then we're going to turn this around to the six inch side. And we are going to score at one inch all the way down and three and three quarter of an inch so that's your score lines and then we'll remove this now so the scoreboard and what we'll do first we are going to remove uh, these two panels so we're going to cut all the way down here and across there so we've got those two pieces so I'm just gonna I'll go this way cut that and then I'm gonna go around this way and cut this off Alright, so we've removed that. This is the piece that we're going to keep to create your pocket choice. But we'll make the envelope first. So now you've got that. What we're going to do next, we are going to remove these two pieces up to this score line. I'm just going to remove this little strip. Alright, so you have your paper now looking like this. And I'm just going to... Do my little angle cuts along here just to make it easy to create uh, the back pocket. So I've just done that. And what you can do now, if you want to, you can corner around these two corners with your decorative corner rounder punch if you have. Um, I'm just going to use this one here, which I've had for a little while now. I'm just going to corner around the two corners. This part will be your closure. And then down here, if you have a thumb notch, you can create a thumb notch here for your envelope. So I'm just going to just do a little 
pretty much there. So that's all done. And now what we'll do, we'll assemble the envelope before we adhere adhere it together just so you have an idea of how it looks like so we're going to bring this up and you can see now it's sort of looking like an envelope already and then we're going to bring this part and wrap that around to the back fold that down and then this piece here will also get wrapped around to the back and then when you turn it around it should meet up somewhere on the edge there and then we'll press that down you can see this is now going to be your back pocket and this will be your front of your envelope and this is your closure so you can bring this down so you can see now it looks like an envelope and then you'll have your back so let's glue everything together now and then you've finished up your envelope it was so easy and how quick was that to put together so let's assemble it all together now so i'm just going to open this up i'm going to glue this part down or oh, i'm going to add glue to this uh, flap and then I'll also add glue uh, just along the bottom here, just a, a strip of glue to the bottom. And then we'll bring that over and that will give you your back pocket. You could even create a thumb notch here too if you wanted to. So if you wanted to do that, do that first before you uh, glue your back pocket down. But I'll just leave it this way. And there is your envelope or double envelope so i'm just going to trim off this little bit down here that was pretty easy and it turned out really cute there you go so that's that and there is your back part so that's your back so it's exactly the same all right, so that is done. So what we'll do now, we'll make the, I'm gonna make the little pocket inserts to coordinate with your envelope. So you can choose which one you'd like to make. So I've got the, one of the pieces that we cut out and I've also cut another two pieces here, just so you can see which one you'd like to make and then um, you can follow the tutorial that I'm gonna show you. So with this piece, there is a lot of ways, uh, well, there are three ways that I've come up with. So if you decide you just want the pocket, a little pocket, you want to cut that at five and three quarter of an inch by three and three quarters of an inch. So I've just written it here. So you can see it's all a lot, five and three quarters, and then you're going to cut at three and three quarters. That is if you just want to make your pocket. And I'm just going to grab this little scoreboard. So let's make the little simple uh, ephemera folder with a double pocket first. So it's really easy. So if you want to make one of these to coordinate with that, that's your piece that you've cut out. And then there was that score line at one inch. And all we're going to do is we're going to fold this in half. It's really simple. And there's, I've done this sort of um, video a lot. And there's a lot of videos out there too. So now you've got that half score line and then you've got that one inch score line. We're just going to angle cut that just like that. And then open that up. And then we're just going to bring this up. And then all you're going to do here is you're just going to glue down here and glue down here. Seal that up. And then you've got yourself a little ephemera double pocket ephemera holder. And you can corner around the corners. I'll also give you another a way you can make this funny little pocket. I'm just going to lay this on my scoreboard at the five and three quarter of an inch. And I'm just going to score. Just another way. You can score this at a half an inch along this side. I'm going to turn it around this way and score it again at half an inch. So you have this. And then I'm just going to angle cut that, remove this little corner piece, same with this side, remove that. This will give you a slightly smaller double pocket for your smaller tiny pieces and I'm just going to corner around, I might use this one, corner around the top and this side, fold these in. 
I'm going to corner around these corners. Bring them back up and then I'm going to seal that. And you've got yourself another decorative style mini ephemera holder pocket. I'm just going to glue these down. And it will also hold your pieces in place inside and there is your another way to do this little folder and look how cute that is that is just so cute and let me see if i can grab these out just so you can see and they just fit in there nicely that's cute so they're the two ways you can make these little pockets to go with that how cute is that and you can even place these in the back here too like that if you wanted to so that's one of the pockets if you want to make uh, let's make this one here if you want to do this one the measurements are really easy for that one so you'll have that paper again and it's already got that score line at one inch you're just going to score the two sides at one inch on both sides so we line that on the five and three quarter inch mark and just do score lines at one inch and then one inch as well on the other side so you have that and we'll just do this uh, cut here and angle cut that out and cut that straight up so we're removing these two corners and we'll angle cut that side as well cut that up so you have this and then you can corner around the corners if you like I'll do that here now. So corner around those corners. I'm going to fold these in. I'm going to corner around these bottom corners. I mean, you don't have to do this part. Um, you can just leave it without corner rounding it. And there you sort of have your pocket already done. You can leave it like this and you just glue these two down. And then you'll have that sealed. So let's do that. Uh, before I do that, if you want to add some vellum to your pocket, so it's going to be like that, we're going to glue down your vellum sheet first onto the back. So I might just do that. Um, if you haven't got any vellum, you can use um, some of the scrap papers and you just want to cut it so that it will sit inside these side flaps. So I'm going to use this one. I won't use the vellum. I might use this piece. So just so you can see. And I might, uh, let me just see. I love these pockets. These are just so fun. These are probably my favourite style of pockets. I'm going to trim one down a little bit. Just because. Just because I feel like doing that. Just like to keep the front a little bit lower. I don't even know the measurements. So I think this is cut at two and... A half inches there we go two and a half by two and a half inches so it's a perfect little square let me just glue this side and I'm going to glue this side and it's the same with your vellum piece if you want to use vellum and you're going to glue this down just so that you're able to close it up I might actually add a little bit of glue just to here just to secure the edge now with this one I didn't add a paper at the back all I've done was just glue the little images to the front so if you have some pretty die cuts you can just use a die cut and cover the front with that so there's another way to do that I'm just sorry I'm just gonna place that there so I've sort of lined it along that fold line and I'm going to close that up and just hopefully that's all nice and straight. And then you can close this up and you've got yourself a pocket. So this one will have just a single pocket or you can have a double pocket and have one up the top here and one at the front. And to do that, if you just want a single pocket, you're going to glue all this down and seal that off. But if you want an extra little front tuck pocket, all you're going to do is just glue these two sides and seal that off. And then you're going to be able to have 
a little front pocket in the front and let me find another i'll use this tag and then you've got another pocket at the back and then you've got another fun little spot to add some more and you can decorate the front so that is another way to do that if you want to choose this pocket with the envelope uh, so now let's make the last pocket is this one if you want to make this one you grab your paper again that has that scroll line from the envelope that we cut out you're going to line that at the five and three quarter mark as well and then you're going to score it at one and three quarter of an inch and then you've got that one inch score line from the envelope and then what we'll do here is we are going to remove this little piece And look, remove that. Now keep this little piece. Keep that little piece. So now you have your paper this way. And it's just a simple fold. We're going to fold this uh, piece over. Oh, before you do that, you can corner around your corner if you want to do that. So let's do that. So I've just done that. So you're going to bring this over to the front. And then you're just going to bring this piece up. And there you have your little um, pocket ready. You've got that tuck pocket there and this one. If you wanted to add some vellum, you're just going to place it on the back. And you're just going to place some glue along here. And then glue that down to keep it secure. And then this will get glued in place so that won't go anywhere. And then you've got two pockets. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to glue this side down. If it, you can use normal paper as well if you wanted to. And then I'm going to also glue just a little bit here so we can create that little front tuck pocket just in line with the edge of that fold of this piece here. So it's a glue. Bring that up and we'll seal that off. And then you should be able to tuck in a cute little tag put in an envelope mini envelope some cutter parts oh it's just so cute i just love making pockets i don't know i'm just it's one of those things i love making pockets i love making envelopes because you just the things that you can fit in there and it just always looks fun with full of the goodies and to think that a little pocket can still store so many little pieces of um uh, things in inside so this little piece here that we had cut out from here you can use this um, so what i done was i used it to create the little tab here in the front of the envelope and all i done was just folding that in half and then i corner rounded these little corners and then i just placed it in the front here like that to just just to decorate the envelope and somewhere to add your uh, closure so you can do that or you can create a little tiny tag by just cutting the corners down and just i'm just going to do this quickly so you've got yourself a little tag and that can go in here start to create a little tag if you wanted to do that so that is another cute little way to do that or you can keep these to create little tabs for your little note cards and then there were these little pieces that we had cut out from this one here that were the little corners that was from here you can keep those as well and um, I'm just gonna cut this out just so you don't waste anything if you have um, you can also fold these over and create them for your little tabs for your envelopes as well so you can do that I'm gonna corner around my ones just so you can see how cute it'll look So you can see I've just cornered around the corners at the fold and then just um, glue that down. So just another way without wasting all your little, little pieces of scraps. 
so you can see it just has a cute little tab for your envelope so this is just a, another project for you if you want to make a double envelope with a coordinating pocket insert set i'm just trying to grab everything because everything's everywhere um have a go at one of these i think this is a fun little project and um great for happy mail or great just to keep for yourself to add to your planners um whatever you want to do with these and, and you saw them at your craft fairs uh so i hope you enjoyed this fun little project with all of these fun ideas for you and hopefully it's a little bit of an inspiration for you so you can make something with your tour by tour paper and i'll see you soon in my next video bye for now